Good afternoon, my name is Ainsley Lee. I'm a junior in Honors Independent Research, and I study the effects of lifestyle habits on the development of urinary tract infections in adolescent females. Have you ever felt a burning sensation or a constant need to urinate? If you have, there is a chance that you've had a UTI. A urinary tract infection, or a UTI, is a bacterial infection that occurs when bacteria, typically estrogen coli or E. coli, enters the urethra and infects the urinary tract. This infection can infect your bladder, causing cystitis, which is the most common and least severe case of a UTI, or it can spread to your kidney, causing pyelonephritis, which has much more severe consequences. According to research done in 2018, the chances of developing a UTI is very high. About 50% of women experience a UTI at least once in their life. This statistic is fairly concerning, given that this means that out of every two women, at least one will have had developed one or will de develop one in the future. Finding lifestyle habits is essential to treating UTIs, firstly because it will decrease antibiotic resistance. Due to antibiotics being the most common response to infections from doctors, human immune systems have become increasingly immune to antibiotics due to the increased use of them. This has made antibiotics less and less effective. Along with that, UTIs are also a very costly infection. Research from 2014 stated that worldly expenses from doctor visits, appointments, and treatments concerning UTIs result in over $6 billion a year. With UTIs being so common and costly, it's common to think that UTIs are a highly studied topic that people have found a way to prevent with everyday lifestyle habits. However, not much research has been done. While many research papers consider possible factors that contribute to decreasing the development of UTIs, none are conclusive due to lack of experimentation and experiments that have been done have not occurred in the United States. This led me to my research question, what lifestyle habits can aid in the prevention of the development of urinary tract infections in adolescent females in Hawaii? To conduct this experiment, I first recruited 50 female adolescents aged 13 to 18 to participate in a survey questioning their lifestyle habits and history of UTIs. Some questions in the survey included their age, their hydration habits, voiding habits, physical activity status, and what feminine hygiene products they use. Out of the 50 recruited, 36 filled out the email and the survey. From my survey, I concluded firstly, that hydration habits had the most significant impact on the development of UTIs in my survey participants. Here in this graph, we see how there was an increased amount of survey part part participants that had experienced a UTI while also having improper hydration habits, such as being dehydrated. Specifically, 36% had a UTI with improper hydration habits, while only 17% had experienced a UTI while performing proper hydration habits. Secondly, I concluded that voiding habits also had a significant impact on the development of UTIs in my survey participants. This graph shows how voiding habits impacted UTI occurrence. Like the hydration habits, 11% more participants had experienced a UTI while also partaking in improper voiding habits on a daily basis. Following the survey portion of my research, I conducted an experiment to test the results of my survey. For this experiment, I recruited six female adolescent participants to partake in the study. These six students were split into two groups of three and tested four times using dipstick urinalysis over the course of three weeks. Prior to the experiment, all six participants took a baseline test where they were all found to not have a UTI. After the baseline test, the first group conducted proper hydration habits where they were tasked to drink a minimum of 64 ounces of water each day for one week. After the week was finished, they conducted dipstick urinalysis. The week following that, they conducted proper voiding habits where they were tasked to wipe from front to back each time they used the restroom for one week. Again, after the week was up, they conducted dipstick urinalysis. Finally, after two days of ending all proper habits, my participants took a final dipstick test. Positive test for a UTI were determined by a cloudy colored first square as shown in the first picture. 
which indicated a positive test for leukocyte esterase. Another indication of a UTI was a pinkish colored second square, which indicated a positive test for nitrite. The bottom image with only clear or white colored squares had a negative test for UTI. From my experiment, I concluded that proper hydration and voiding habits decreased the development of UTIs in my participants by half. This is visually shown through these two graphs, which show that 50% of my participants with proper habits had traces of UTIs while taking part in both proper hydration and voiding habits, while 100% of my participants had a UTI when conducting both improper voiding habits and improper hydration habits. In fact, after abruptly ending all proper habits, all six of my participants' dipstick urinalysis tests came back positive for nitrate. Overall, from my research, I concluded that improper voiding habits and hydration habits have the biggest impact on UTI occurrence in comparison to other lifestyle habits for adolescent females. However, performing proper habits, such as staying properly hydrated throughout the day and taking part in proper voiding habits, such as looking front to back each time you use the restroom, can decrease the risk of developing a UTI. Moreover, immediately after stopping proper habits, you have a higher chance of developing a UTI. The main implication of my research is that adolescent females are not educating much or nearly enough about urinary tract infections, leading to an increase in UTI occurrence. This was made very evident through my survey, which proved that many young females do not know much about what UTIs are, how their daily tasks and lifestyle habits impact the risk of developing one, and what they can do to prevent them. I personally was never taught about UTIs in any health education class in Iolani, but I think it's very necessary to implement this into the curriculum. Teaching young women about infections, especially UTIs which are so common, will save them a lot of pain. This research will assess, assist female health by bringing awareness to the severity of UTIs and the risks that they pose to health and well-being. Finding simple and easy lifestyle habits to prevent UTIs will allow women to take charge of their health by giving them the knowledge necessary to maintain their health and preventing infections at a young age. Through my research this year, I learned how important time management and communication is. For future independent research students, it's important to pick a topic that you're very passionate about because all your attention will be focused on it throughout the year. Along with that, make sure to manage your time wisely because there is a lot to get done and everyone's schedules, projects, and needs are very different. Finally, don't forget to have fun. Research is an eye-opening learning experience that can be very enjoyable if you embrace it. Finally, I'd like to thank everyone that supported me throughout my journey. Firstly, thank you to Dr. Chan for being my mentor and teaching me through every single step. Second, thank, to my thank you to my period three research class for helping me find participants to participate in my experiment and also making class fun. And finally, thank you to my cheer team, friends, and family for participating in my research and emotionally guiding me through this long process. Thank you.